You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. And no other better freaking place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo, Laz and Jack. <laughs> And greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. That's, That's right. right. We are here again. Brand the news, day in and day out. I don't know what's going on. Well, we just uh, keep Skirt, going Skirt, on, you going on. I don't know. Yeah, there was a groove going on there coming into the show today. You know, I don't get it. Yeah, you know, one. You know, I could do one thing one day, the next thing here we can. You know, <laughs> this music thing. We got to figure out what's going on with this music. Man, I'm telling you. Well, Sorry, I had a real years. life thing. You see, killing my karma with uh, this okay. music. It was thing, real life. Man. I'm telling you. It's all good. Real life takes precedence. Greetings, everybody. It is Friday, April 7, 2017, here inside Trad and Avatar. And, of course, we're upon a free play weekend. Uh, for those of you folks who got friends and family, or those of you just stumbling upon us uh, out there on Twitch or YouTube, uh, catching the stream, listening on the radio, uh, you guys uh, want to come on in and check out the game before you plop down a couple bucks on it? Free play weekend is in effect through Monday. Oh yeah, Monday. absolutely. And I expect to see a ton of visitors over the weekend. And I'm hoping that people like enjoy the changes that they've been making. And uh, it, I think it's be- better for the game in the long term that if they can solidify the first few hours of gameplay to actually retain more customers. Yes, absolutely. Because a lot of it is until people realize that there is actually a vibrant community um, in the game and they see how the community pulls together for certain things, they they won't understand what's really happening here. Yeah, the initial new user experience is, uh, you know, makes the impression. And I'll tell you what, back in the day, uh, my first impression of this game stuck with me, still sticks with me to this day. I came in three days before the end of release 13. I uh, was born in Bremer. Uh, there weren't no starting other towns. Uh, and I popped into the world right in the middle of, you know, a whole bunch of other folks who looked exactly like me running around with silly red hats on and it was dark outside and there were chickens bucking everywhere and you know i was like hmm i'm home <laughs> see, I, see I, I was born way before that <laughs> uh, I, I was born before that so we won't in the chicken what room and what, what's way before that okay uh, well, what was your first impression of the game when you first logged in Let, let's see hear your story i i remember like the initial combat um even playing around in um what is now the path to the owls wait what's the mine the, the, what's the new owl's mine? nest Owl's Nest. Nest. So that path to the Owl's Nest, uh, I remember playing around in that. I remember early, early iterations of Owl's Head when before all the lots were claimed, I was like, man, how do you get a lot? (laughs) It took me about a week to actually find Owl's Head and Uh, venture out. uh, My first combat was with chickens and uh, sticks and frame. You never got to see the early iterations of the overworld map. So, like, one of the early, early additions is um, on the overworld map, you were traveling, like, think Indiana Jones, the plane flying from place to place. That's what was you on the overworld map for a little bit. For a hot minute. Yeah, no. It was, uh, see, I, I was. I've always yeah, been able to see my character on the Overland map. Yeah. See, Blood Omen says, "Man, that was cool." I remember. That. <laughs> uh, it, I I almost think that they should bring that back, just 
just to alleviate some of those people's issues with the interactivity on the overall map, just because it's, I, I thought it was kind of a cool, cool thing, um, but I guess people didn't like the, uh, the paper map, uh, and so they, they pulled it. Well, we want the interactive world, so, you know. It's, well, uh, I, well, I would like to see I can features dig, like... I can dig yeah. the visual and the, you know, okay, changing scenes, maybe. See, now that would be cool, maybe, if you're changing scenes now. If you were going from Kingsport to Brittany, you know, the scene would change and show you the boat sailing across the water, you know, yeah. on your well, way. That would make we, sense. You we know, we, know, that, we know that eventually they're going to get that tech in there for because one of the things that was uh, discussed was... Um, high seas piracy um, so absolutely and the, adventure scenes uh, on the boats an, an, an adventure scene on the boat as you're traveling from place to place um, and that's going to be one where you know what eventually we're going to end up with the possibility of piracy the kraken may or may not come out the uh, and, kraken uh, you gotta unleash the kraken um, unleash the kraken, the kraken. So, or at least a sea serpent. Or a oh, dolphin. No, yeah. Yeah. Or a sea asking, horse. You're asking for those goddamn... We're asking for what? Spit it out. Sieges. Spit it out. You're, you're asking for sieges to be on transfer maps. No, we're asking for sailing where we can actually be attacked by sea monsters like uh, the old yeah. days. That's what we're asking for. Yeah, I, it's it's like I'm not saying that I want the the, the kraken to be like invulnerable, like the dragon. I mean that that would be kind of. I want to be sailing people. my boat out looking for treasure maps, diving for treasure. Well, I mean th have... that's probably going to be released too. Yes, I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, not yeah. looking at this for this release by no means. Uh, we know exactly what uh, we need to get this release out, and uh, we are right on the path. The, br the light is getting brighter by the day as we uh, barrel towards it, the... It's getting initial. something. It's getting something. It's getting something, that's right. Yes. So what is it getting, Jackie? What, what is well, it? it well, that means that it's time for us to discuss ye old stand-up corner. D did we want to do Thursdays and Fridays, or just Fridays? And I, I, skip yesterday's and just go straight to today's. I mean, we can do is it. Is there anything that we're going to miss if we do just today's? Um, yeah, we, we got, will miss a few things. We got things. plenty of the topics to get out there to the folks. Uh, we, yeah, we'll, we got... Yeah. Sales. We've okay. got, uh, of course. Uh, actually, looking at Thursdays, yeah, there is actually days. some really good information there. So as long as which we don't one? get too direct, there's lots of good information on Thursdays, which will lead us into Fridays. Okay, I'm easy. So. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, well, so, so Justin texted me and said that she logged into the game, opened up her inventory, it made that old familiar UO pack, backpack sound, and she got a little tear and started making phone calls to the wolves saying, It's home. It's home. We're home. We got We're, home. <laughs> We're home. We found our home. Come join and, me. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I definitely understand the sentiment. Yeah. It was, yes. Uh, I've been out there wandering the highways and byways of the internet looking for that community, looking for that feel, looking for that game for many years now. And I've found it again, so. Yeah. Welcome to Shroud of the Avatar. Remember rule number Stand one. Up Corner. Stand Up Corner is where the devs say, hey, I worked on this yesterday, I'm working on this today. Something random gets written down. And today we're going to do two days, Thursday and Friday. So this is yesterday's stand-up corner. Yesterday's. So, NFG Yesterday. Damon. Damon Walter. Working on the Kabbalist aura visual effects. Fletcher. Fletch. Working on the Oracle updates. Kevin was working on the Granis NPC. The Almighty Gix Vargach, Oops. Matt. Psh, 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 psh. He was working on the Time Warp 
and do Reed. the time warp. I know. He's doing the time warp. Reed was working on shield decorations and tool decorations. So now we'll be able to place our tools and have like... Yeah, tools. Tools. I know. It's going to be awesome. He's going to be able to place his tool. Yeah. I got your tool. Don't ask where Ledset puts his tool. You don't want to know. Well, his, his, his basement is a <laughs> scary place. I bet. <laughs> we won't talk about what's covering those walls. But I think Tool has a song. It's a black about light that. out. Yeah. <laughs> um, Beezus. Yes. No, yeah, Beezus is working on the release 41 planning and reshape recipes. Uh, Seawolf. Seawolf. Working on suspension bridge traps. I wonder if they're going to cut the ropes. And mm. map review. Cut the rope. And Verdantis and High Vale. No, not Verdantis. Yes, yeah. Verdantis. Every Van time a mine is mentioned, Spiff starts to cry. Cry, yes. Dan the Man was working on Player Town, customer service, support, and map review, and Fatui, <laughs> and spawning. Sanyo working on sieges and outskirts. Quest planning and harvest. Lum. The. Oh, man. The. Mad. I need to say something else besides mad. <laughs> working on artifice. We, get, we got two of these to get through. You always gotta, you gotta remember that. You're, you're, you're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> Kill me. I Sorcerer know. Steve working on cast ruins and underground vaults and shard falls. Shard falls. List Rostov working on the Solace Bridge outskirts. Uh, Bobby. Bobby working on soda map updates and interactive synchronization. Eric working on navigation system updates. JY working on interactive synchronization. Wizard Smoke. Is past puff puff past. Oops, messed that up. The context tile. Passed him right by. I know. And login screens <laughs> and the options menu. User interface. Options. options. We want lots and lots of options. Well, I, I would like them organized logically. Um, well, you know. Yeah, that's... yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that. We'll discuss that later. The Deathbringer. That's a show in itself. <laughs> the Deathbringer one and only working on decoration flags and the camera refactor. Yay. Jeez. Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll have something to do with 15 meters of <laughs> That's sound. another show. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Burning Toad. The burn. He's scratching the itch that's known as the devotionals and stun updates and bugs. Bug. Tassilo working on the server upkeep and CAPTCHA updates. No! Web refactor. No! No CAPTCHA. What are you talking about? Just because you can't ever type in that damned CAPTCHA doesn't mean... Yeah. yeah. Over in QA... You, you know what it's like trying to get in one, one account. Try doing it on a dozen accounts, yeah. I, I know your pain, dude. I know your pain. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I know. I know that and, and the developers know our pain because they got to do it too. They should know better. Over in QA, the Attenwood working on sanity and regression and forums. Serafino working on customer service and sanity One and back in updates. Useless overhead yesterday. The Dippy Bird was working on Tech Tuesday and bugs. Bug. And putting out his blog, Gorn, back in the Birds office. Blog. As he works on Patui and Metrics. metrics. Beric was working on a telethon plan and free trial support and fact update and live stream. Hutch was working on the map review and what? bugs. Bug. Kick off the map meeting and reviewing some assets. Yay, assets. Lord British playtesting and hanging out with Laz and Jack and general business. Business. Chaos was working on patch notes and Jira triage and Kelebeth shipping direction. Hmm. 
Chipping direction. Hmm. Things that make July. you go. Mm. July. Ah. Vigilance. Mm. And. Uh, Dark Star working on the map review and weekly update and free trial direction and the map kickoff meeting and Jira. Jira. Let's yeah. listen. Yeah. Then that takes us to today, because they were nice enough to put out the stand-up notes for today, Friday, Somebody April Somebody's going 7th. home early today. Yay. Not. So, <laughs> so, in today's meeting, we had NFG Damon say that he was working on the character visual effects meeting and torches, polish, and the Kabbalist good aura. Good aura. That's right. They've got a, such a lovely aura. That 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 good aura for the chaotic type, right? No, no, they're, they're not chaotic. They are dominion. Never mind. They'd like to remove all of your free will. Some people <laughs> don't don't like it. Yep. Well, that's you're working on the leaf shield and spear Oops. and character visual effects meeting. Kevin, working on Granis in character Kevin. visual effects meeting. Gix Vargach. <laughs> Letting the air out of the time warp. And character visual effects meeting. Reed. Reed problem. He's working on, you know what? Cool decorations. Cool. Working yes. on the tool. Scotty. Scotty Jones. Working on web icons. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Over in design. Over in design. We have some recipes being reshaped. Reshaped recipes. Sea Wolf working on the High Vale Outskirts <laughs> kickoff. Dan the man. Dan the man. Brandon. Working on Ver Dan Tis. Mines. No! <laughs> <laughs> and player towns. And trap damage balancing. Balancing should the kill damage. Ya. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Same Has you just started on Fernandez? <laughs> Here, going to redo uh, the it. last day or two. Yeah. Daniel working on sieges and harvest AI behaviors. Harvest. harvest. It's like Agri you know what? You really should go over there, NPC. Harvest How are you going to get there? No, you're not supposed to walk through that wall. Wait, it's not a magic wall. Sorcerer Steve working on vault spawning and the Blood River outskirts design. Yay! Ooh, I'm gonna love that. Sorceress Steve doing the design. No, no offense, list is that, uh, but you I like live out of Blood River. I, I like, I like what I've seen. Well, you know, I, you I like got Sorcerer I gotta, Steve. I gotta... You've got the man crush on him. It's okay to admit. I, mean, you, what you could do is you could say, list. It's the curly would, hair, would, man. You know. Would you go, please go find that <laughs> short guy with the curly hair and go give him a hug for me? And, and if it's a hug from behind, way. please make sure there's a happy ending involved with that reach around. That picture that Laz put up on uh, the NBN, NBN uh, Discord last night was classic. Wait, which picture? Wait, oh. <laughs> that young Lazarus Long <laughs> in his 20s. Hey, did, did you like the young Jack with hair? Yeah, that was amazing too. Yeah, yeah. Young Jack. It took me a second hair. to look at that picture of Jack and be like, which one is Jack? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Young Jack Long. There's a long yeah. Jack is young. Man. What the hell happened to those curls, Jack? I don't I didn't have any curls. That's straight. I, I meant those, those, those locks. Uh, those uh, locks. Those locks. Dude. Those, those, locks. Surfer, dude. Those, those locks. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened to those luscious locks. But I miss yeah. I miss those luscious locks. I, I don't think I cut my hair for another year or two after that picture was taken. 
I know. It was so, it was so grunge 90s, man. I loved it. Well, the, the, the funny part is I hate grunge. Or I, I hated grunge back in the day. And, uh, yes, I, I was... I was around when Kurt Cobain pulled the trigger. We won't, we mm-hmm. won't talk about that. I might offend a few people. Uh, a few? Yeah, a few. <laughs> with my comments about that. <laughs> so, yeah. List Rostov working on the Solace Bridge outskirts and... Deco Diva meeting. Deco Diva meeting, yes. That's uh, right. He's he, trying to figure he out how to... He had a consult to... with the divas last I night, I understand. Yes. It's like, how do I decorate this? How do I do this? Um, yeah. Yes, yes. I, I love that that made it into the stand-up note. Hey, I, I had a consult the other day. Uh, no, nobody was around, and a uh, question came right to me, and hey. I... We, we I, had this, I got the question solved. It was how to hey. rotate an item. <laughs> we, we, we had what? this awesome console yesterday with uh, with Nature's and uh, from Wolfram's shop for the cheese sign writing. Yeah, so we'll get to the cheese sign writing. We had we got to oh, show yeah. that. Oh, yeah. yes, we got our that. cheesy writing finally, boys and girls. Oh yeah. So over in tech. In ev- or actually, Bobby. Mm, Joe Bobby Thompson. Working on interactives. Eric, working on sieges and navigation system updates. JY, working on the interactives and spam- server spam investigation. Spam, spam, spam. And and List is doing a great job spam in hometown. And spam. Uh, Wizard Smoke. Him and JY have been puff puff passing the server spam investigation <laughs> and the options menu updates. While the Deathbringer one and only work is working on camera refactoring. Fix over our over, cameras. Over in uh, QA, the Attenwood is working on sanity testing and regression tests and forums and localization. Serafina. Working on Kelebeth tracking and re- reliquary tracking and customer service and mm. regression tests. Tracking sets. Uh, lots of lots customer of fun stuff. Service. Service. Nators. Nators. Whatever. 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 Nature Z. How about that? <laughs> we'll really butcher it. Nature Z. <laughs> Useless overhead group. Working on the Dippy Bird. Working on weapon and skill balance. Said about the bird. <laughs> <laughs> weapon and skill balance and hardware updates. And those hardware updates we're really going to have to talk about because there's going to be ha- something happening later today. Uh, yeah. Gorn. Yeah. Working on quest and sales metrics and general business. Business. Gordon's back to business. Good to yes. see. Barrick working on free trial support and 1B tracking and web store cleanup and weekly updates. Hutch working on the new furniture and High Vale outskirts kickoff and character visual effects meeting. Lord what British is 1B is, tracking? Well, so don't forget what they have to do is they have to mail out all the actual physical 1Bs. Physical the medals. awards, that's right. And some sometimes they forget to do that. Yeah, I think they it's, to do it's that. been known to happen once. Yeah, or twice. well, g- generally it takes them a month or two and half a dozen emails to remind them to do that. Because the other thing is tracking down the medals within the office, and they then tracking down the accounts they're attached to, and then making sure the right person gets the right credit for yeah, it's, for, for it's the title. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so. So they, they do tracking. get to have lots of fun with that. They, um, actually, you know, they put little GPS tracking monitors in us, and they put us to work, and they keep an eye on where we are at all times. I have been... <laughs> I, I was chipped and dipped. <laughs> I, I no longer have any fleas. Uh, Lord British was playtesting. Playtesting. Chaos is working on patch notes and trusted trader accounts and weekend sales and MailChimp updates. Mailchimp. And then really? Darkstar 
Last but not least, working on a High Vale out Outskirts kickoff and character or visual effects meeting and the weekly update and Jira. And that's what our devs said they were working on today. Yay. Yes. Yesterday that and today is two days. The latest on what our developers are working on here in Shrouded Avatar to uh, bring you all the fun stuff that we have here in the game. And of course, uh, free player weekend. We're going to be seeing a lot of players coming in and a lot of new work going on in the uh, new user experience, which uh, quite an interesting little topic we have out here about the uh, sieges. And we, I know we wanted to talk about that. Sieging oh, yeah. Yeah. of starter towns. Now, for the new user, this was something that uh, sort of hit home. And I don't know, I had a little giggle about because it just never dawned on me. And of course, at this point in my game, I don't do a lot of traveling by walking around anymore. Yes. Um, yeah, since I happen to be in the business of selling recall scrolls with my partner Jack there, and yeah, we got a guy standing on the corner selling recall scrolls throughout the world. Oh yeah, um, and you can buy them really cheap from uh, the vendors of NBNN and Laz and Jack. Shameless self promotion. Um, yes, but yes, so, uh, hadn't so this, thought to me that the new folks when they come into the world, they get dropped off and. All of a sudden, they're trying to get into this town, and it's under well, siege. So, and it's not, it's not, and the the towns he's talking about in particular are the starting towns. So, Soul High Town, vale. Blood River, or High Vale, and uh, Airy. Uh, yes. Those three t towns really should be exempt from sieges. Just not because... For nothing. I don't think I've ever seen Sultan under siege. Well, th this guy, um, Jay Moore seventy eight, he he ended up in Sultan, but his friend ended up in Resolute, and Resolute was under siege, and his friend was trying to do quests and couldn't get past that, and eventually he quit the game. And his words were, "What a dumb way to in introduce new players to a game, and he had better ways to waste his time." Ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, that's one where it's that's like, one. you know what? If you're gonna do a siege on a starter town, make those that a starter siege. If you're gonna if you're gonna force those sieges, make those a very very low level sieges. And so that way, as now, they go to Ardoris, which would be a five scale siege, is uh, because I know when characters enter. And the starting town for the first time. Say you start in the Solus Bridge. The first time you enter Blood River, you enter the starting scene to start the quest line in the story. I'm wondering if they couldn't do something like that. That first time a new user coming in triggers a starter well, siege. That's your exactly curious, right. Yeah. You know. That's exactly um, what should happen. It should be a uh, kind of an instance intro siege that explains what's going on at a pace the player can handle with lots of explanation of what's going on, why it happens, and how to avoid it if you really like that shit. Yeah, and yeah. that would be a, another perfect time again for, that. You know, like you're saying, uh, more intro, more walkthrough, more you know, um, this is how it works, and next time you come into the siege, it's going to be the real thing, not the walkthrough, so they you know, give them plenty of warning. Um, to get the practice now, yeah. But uh, so let's uh, let's continue on with this, which because there is a, a funnier part of this story, nonetheless. Um, which is what? Which is uh, there should be a way around it, and there should be a tip, and uh, oh, oh yeah 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 yeah. So. <laughs> So, so, so the, the, Bytor makes the comment, maybe the first so soldier you see can give directions on how to bypass the combat. And Darkstar came back with, he does. Do you not talk to him? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, you know, there's Which a little conversation kind of that happens back and forth. And, of course, uh, reiterates like, one of those little things that we always nitpick on, which is players don't read half the time 
Uh, no, you if have they to had read. Yeah, you have yeah. to convert. Have a conversation with the NPCs in order to actually go things, uh, do things, and learn things. And so, yes, there is a there is a path right there that you can go down. You take that that's path, that's very and lightly you will guarded. Be safe. Yeah. Very lightly uh, guarded. But uh, yes, uh, again, one of the things that uh, we know they're actively working is that new user first time experience and uh, it's been cleaned up a bit it's getting more love and they understand that it's not the smoothest right now so again now uh, we're rolling towards an initial release they're working furiously to get that cleaned up and yeah, get a lot of they're that. working on improving the the new player experience and we just don't know how it's going to completely evolve we don't have any kind of roadmap for that to actually have a, a a discussion about where they're going with it. So now, of course, this free play weekend is going to be part of what helps steer that new user um, experience a little bit more because they're going to take the feedback, the metrics, and all that they get, and they will tweak it yet again in another round. And uh, Liz tells us we had a meeting. We decided to make it good. <laughs> yep. Thank you. <laughs> Is, uh, that, that's reassuring, that's for sure. <laughs> Is, and, uh, and, and Justin just sent me a message saying that Scrota, she's digging it. Oh, yeah, well, she, she, she was in that old school 70s groove on. Yeah, the last night she was having a blast. Last night. Yeah. She, she was digging it, if y'all missed. Uh, Nurse Justin out there on the airwaves last night. She was uh, she was gently massaging my ears. Taking it old school, yes. Yeah. I, I was having a good time listening. The the short time I was listening, um, she even got my face no more request in there. Which which you never get requests in. Uh, I know. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you must she, you must have been good this week. Well, I, I think she <laughs> approves of the faith no more. So she's like, man, that that's not too offensive. So and of course, uh, let's uh, go ahead and cover this right now uh, because uh, this just popped up on screen. Uh, daily message. Brief server downtime for maintenance scheduled approximately 1300 Central Daylight Time. Downtime estimated to be no more than 60 minutes. Jack, you want to tell the good boys and girls well, what's going on behind the scenes? Absolutely, because this actually involves us going to Chris's dev post for the day. And be birds. So we, we are we are just going to skip to today's <laughs> So today's update from the Dippy Bird and the Dippy Bird blog says two more Hold on, I gotta find the right right thing. <laughs> Two more server burps where the router kicked out 70 to 100 people offline and blocked logins briefly. Looks like we're going to have to have a brief downtime today so he can swap out power supplies and swap boxes. Expect some announcement later on. Uh, still fi figuring out logistics as in, and what all do I need to take down to the co-location facility and... Do okay. I have my okay. duct tape? Do I, do I have do everything? I have my chicken wire? Yes. Do I have Where's the coat Where's this Cat5 go again? D Dallas, Dallas, make sure he's got the coat hanger. Yes, and, and then he, so he's putting on his DevOps hat. Yes. And as that Dev announcement ops. that just came across for everybody about the downtime, so that is what that was. Yes, this is announced downtime, uh, so they can do a hardware fix. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah, you know what? So, they have no control over that. Uh, well, so actually, they do have a little bit of control over it. But yeah. For about an hour's worth of downtime, if you've been neglecting your laundry, neglecting to take the dog for Outside. a walk, change the cat box, well, 
Now's the time to do it before the weekend hits. Yes, the other thing is, ho- hopefully he does it <laughs> right after the show ends. Yes, well. That's what he's scheduled. Yeah, do it technically, now. Do it now. at this point, if it goes down at one o'clock, it really doesn't matter because uh, you know, oh, if it goes down so- now, it really doesn't matter. We don't actually have to be no, in the game no, no, to finish off. Because we, we can actually scroll back up and go over what Chris said he was working on yesterday because there's also lots of good information there about what he's doing and why he's doing it. So. Uh, th- this actually gives us a little bit better of an insight as to what the devs are working on on a daily basis. And remember, Chris is the <laughs> technical director for Portalarium. So that, yes. the more information we get, the better. In- Otherwise known as the Tech Lord. He goes tech by Lord. many names. He wears many hats. The Dippy Bird, the Tech Lord, Evil in- in- Chris. Engineering, engineering 101. Professor the Math Professor guy, Spears. That's right. Is uh, and we well, got Gix out there singing, or is he uh, just busting on? Uh... So uh, he wants to party all the time. So he he wants to be listening to yeah, some. Yeah. Uh, what's it, Eddie Murphy? I, I, I think what he's saying is, uh, since everything's going to be down for an hour on Friday, at, it's it's uh, called happy hour. The booze is going to start flowing in the break yeah. room a little early today. Is that what he's trying to tell us? Yes, that is exactly what he's trying to tell us. Has it ever stopped flowing? <laughs> no, not really. So, some repeat. He's singing Rebecca Black. Okay. Friday's song of the day. Yes. Schroeder, why don't you have that? <laughs> what? Well, did- Scrota's got a lot of... You have to put in the request for Scrota, so that way he can go convert the song to a MIDI and then convert it to an ABC file. So you have to make that request. So Scrota, there is now that official request for Rebecca Black's Friday. Song of the day for Friday. Yeah. And as Scrota says, he can't get to the mic currently. Um, he's got everything firmly in hand. Um... So, so, no, no hands nope. free mode for him. Uh, so, did did you want to cover? Has he been hanging out with Wayne? Yes, he has. He okay. has been he has been hanging out with the latest, in, newest Wayne NBN in, uh, man on the streets, Wayne Klotz. Okay, so, so we're gonna talk about the Dippy Birds post from yesterday. Oh, I don't know. We can. It's, uh, we got well, a few I, more I, minutes before I, we have I, I think to we uh, should, wrap up. Because, you know what? Knowing the fact that yesterday that the Dippy Bird had coffee and a an homemade all-brand muffin. The yummy, yummy means, homemade all-brand muffin. Which means that he was cleaned out and had to rehydrate. Uh-huh. Uh, but but there was a quick investigation into what, so, why someone's web representation of their sky was not syncing up. And you, you know what? The Dippy Bird passed the buck on to some of the other coders. It's all their fault. Pass the buck. Yeah. It, I didn't do it. Wasn't you, me. coder. It was last. Fix that. Even, even in our startup song. You were the last, last one in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then after data mining, playing around and spreading some sheets around uh, some of the bludgeon stuff, sheets. he came to some co- conclusions about bludgeons. And this should actually uh, really help uh, some people out. Because he discovered that the DPS was significantly lower than bladed combat. Uh, the defining feature is stuns, but the stuns are available via other methods such as air and earth, and relatively short stuns like those in Bludgeon don't slow down targets for long, but do build up their stun resistance and therefore are not very desirable. So Berserk can, skill can improve DPS, but even at GM it does not reach blade DPS, and also re- reduces avoidance dramatically, which is essential for survival in the high-end world. Indeed. And super high strength and berserk with a two-handed can achieve some good DPS, 
but even then, the super short duration stuns are as much a negative as a positive, and your defense will be pitiful. Pitiful. Yep. Pitiful. The pitiful. AE ground pound can be effective due to a larger range than whirling blades, but it's in all but extreme cases, cases earthquake is much more effective for less focus and gives a stun chance, but at the cost of reagents. And break armor to reduce damage should gain and give improved DPS and party usefulness. But most creatures currently have zero damage resistance, so it does nothing except in PvP in reality. In the reality. Huh. Yeah. So it, if you think about that, is, is that tell, tell us that there's going to be some substantial revisions to the bludgeon tree? Yes. Oh, I, I would say there's going to be changes. I, don't know. Oh, I would like to use the word substantial. Okay. <laughs> 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 Notice that we're using a great axe to a sword. <clears throat> yeah. Now, but, of course, can we can we this, look this, forward to Bludgeon this, being the next overpowered skill? I, I don't know, <laughs> but first <laughs> you need to listen to his partial <laughs> fix. Because this is going to be a little bit weird. I've read this, yes. The, the first partial fix is going to be giving most creatures some level of damage resistance, avoidance, and parry, which has a major side effect that all melee ty types will be slightly less effective. High hit, low damage effects, double shot, rapid shot, multi shot, etc. will suffer the most, but those were designed with that in mind. Take that, archers. Take that, archers. You that pluck you. Smoke it. Put yes. that garbage. Warrior types will get some mages, probably none, which will also help differentiate them more. Best way to deal with casters will be melee. Best way to deal be, deal with warriors will be magic. He also made a few free trial ads and promoted them for a whopping fifty dollars to do more testing on our player acquisition pipe. As he puff puff passes that around. He did put it in a pipe and smoke it. Fifty bucks. I know, fifty pole bucks. Fifty bucks in advertising. How dare Holy you? Moly. <laughs> Spared no expense. Spared no expense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is more investigation into cr creature damage resistance. Uh, shows even things that had damage resistance were not having it applied because they had zero damage absorption rate. Golly. He's fixing that. Insert melee player range here, or player range here, as things will be more challenging to melee players. What's that mean? What's that mean? So I'm monsters die are more often. Monsters are finally getting their damage resistance. Okay. Uh, and that uh, means they're going to do a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. And he's updating the resistance. In Resistances and innates of 100% of the creatures in game. What? <laughs> <laughs> Things are going to be a little bit harder. Uh, a balance pass on melee creature hit points to put bring them down to a more reasonable value since they will now take less damage. And then a major pass on elemental resistances. They were only they were only take 50% damage from all melee. Removing that and replacing with more standard damage resistance avoidance dodge based type. And a designer's brutal. computer. Brutal. A designer's computer stopped working, so he had to put on his IT hat and fix it. And fix it. That's yep. right. And that's what Chris worked on yesterday. But now, I mean, I'm just curious. Weren't all these resistances supposed to be in like two releases ago? Uh, I think that was like four or five releases ago. Well, okay. I'm, I'm giving them benefit of the doubt on that one. That is what we were led to believe. Well, well they were in. Apparently, they weren't hey, turned hey, on. Wait, wait, hold on. I want you to. I want to point you to the top left-hand corner of your screen. This yes, is early the top left-hand corner. Early access. Early access. That was the scroll first up. iteration. That was the first iteration. Scroll, scroll, and, scroll uh, up. Scroll up. Yeah, scroll up. Yeah, scroll, scroll up, Led Zap. Scroll up. <laughs> scroll back. Scroll it's up, Led Zap. Yeah. Uh, uh, so first iteration, it, it then it's you you have to remember that he has to go back and 
relook at everything. Oh, uh, absolutely. after he puts yeah, it yeah. in, and some that's where it's as it comes up on their their Jira assi assignments. That's where we, we just updated. love to pick on the Dippy Bird because hey, uh, he is the tech yeah. lord. He is the tech lord. He is the guy who runs those numbers and makes those tweaks appropriately. And uh, Breaks sometimes, things. sometimes Breaks they things. break in ways that, of course, give us uh, all the fighter we need to pick on him just for giggles and grins. But uh, he's the guy who keeps all this stuff running. He does listen to all the feedback that comes in and. Uh, it's again, uh, not everybody's going to be happy with every little thing. That's just uh, one, of the, one of the rules of making this stuff. Not everybody's going to be happy. What's the least amount of people we're going to piss off today? Everybody. Uh, uh, everyone. <laughs> well, t today, today's a no-brainer. Everybody's going to be pissed off when the servers go down for an hour. But again, this is planned downtime, folks. This is not unplanned, yep. unscheduled. We're giving you advance notice, and they've been flashing it up on the screen. If you're not reading it, well, is that's what happened when your computer goes dead for an hour here. So, And remember, be responsible. Don't let planned downtime turn into unplanned parenthood. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. I don't know. Wait, if can't whip it out. For 90% for of our out, audience, yes. I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Bad joke. Bad joke. Moving right along. Where is that cow when I need Hide it? your sheep. We need to talk about the this NBNN app. The NBNN app. Ooh, I can almost actually see that on your screen today. Uh, well, yes, we, we, uh, we, we, we have to wait for the it to decide that Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. NBNN app. There it is. The NBNN app. Yay! Take all the information that you need from Shrouded Avatar, put it in the palm of your hands. Whoops. Why is <laughs> that doing that? Well, my, my phone, uh, uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> it's like, no, I, I put it up on screen on the website and, uh, the stream started playing in the background. Oh. That's right. The NBNN app. You can get it on Google Play. You can get it on the iTunes and the Amazon app stores. Uh, take it with you. You've got all the good stuff you need all in the palm of your hands. You can listen to repeats of a show on our podcast daily. You can check out the latest news in the forums. You can look things up on Soda Map. You can listen to the radio. Uh, all sorts of other great things. You can shop you, you the marketplaces. Can, you can get that calendar. You can get that calendar, that's right, which yeah. is located conveniently on our website as well. Which is nbnn.info. And don't forget, the community calendar is an aggregate of all of the public calendars out there that Laz knows about related to Shroud of the Avatar. And if you want your community calendar added to the NBNN community calendar, then you need to email news at nbnn.info. And don't forget those awfully silly pictures that you weren't supposed to share with anybody else. Go to nudes at nbnn.info, and that's going to be finely also curated by that guy. <laughs> Which means, re reminds me, I need to send... We need to test that email and see whether or not it actually works. <laughs> There, there, there's a huge joke that it's like it's not even set up yet. Uh, is uh, I, I, I tell you what, just uh, disclaimer, disclaimer, 2017. All submissions become rights of Blaz Long Incorporated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sodaporn.com. Sodaporn.com. Yeah. Uh, so, 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 oh. so, so, so the real question is, we, we've got my email up. It, let's click send, and I'll let you guys know if it actually works or not. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that it probably doesn't, because I don't think we actually set that up. Uh, but don't forget, all times on the community calendar are Central Standard Time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia Time. Nude Britannia Time. That's right. 
And since this is the weekend calendar, don't forget we also uncheck the EtherVision Alliance, which is no longer there. Yay. Today is Friday, April 7th. I'm waiting for that bounce. Oh, damn. You really did set up nudes, didn't you? I did. I chuck. What do you mean? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a working so email. Work. You dirty bastard. <laughs> I'm going to send some bad pictures to it. I'm going to send you know, that email. We, we, we've got Can plenty of male and animal. female Can I get a redirect members out, out there. If, you know. Yeah, where's my forward for that, man? No, I, no, I, need, no, I need to inspect these pictures as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that a long time. Okay, so don't forget, uh, VIP tickets for SodaCon are still uh, are no longer available. So skip, no so, longer s- available. skip the VIP yeah. tickets. But if you know that you're not going to be able in, be available to come to Austin in October for SodaCon, and you want the rare cloak, you need you, there are limited supplies, and they are going to be on sale until they are exhausted or until SodaCon, in which case they will be disposed of. Uh, regular attendee tickets are on sale at SoCanAustin.org. Don't forget that there was a price increase recently because you missed the early bird special. Today at That's noon, right. 6 and midnight around the clock, two idiots that interpret the news so you don't have to on a show called Lunch, Lunch. with Laz and Jack on WRFB. WRFB. At 2 on Avatars Radio is a DJ Squirrel biting through the wi- wires. At 6 p.m. on WRFB, don't forget that replay of Lunch with Laz and Jack. WRFB. At 7 p.m., you need to join Kays and Phoenix Fire for Phoenix Republic PvP Nights. At 7 p.m., go to the Town of Vengeance and kill everyone that you see. Because between 7 and 8... Penis is Vengeance Madness, which is an open PvP event. Person with the most kills at the end of the hour wins something. While you're doing that, tune in your Ether Amplifiers to WRFB. WRFB. Or the 77. At 10 p.m. this evening, Avatar's Radio DJ Jackdaw Foxlawn is going with Chaotic Casualties, which is a total request show. At the same time, on WRFB is the record room. WRFB. Saturday, 7 a.m. It's time to wake up New Britannia with Wolfton and up. Celine. No idea who the special guest is this weekend. In about 30 seconds, I'll probably get a text saying I don't know either. At 1 p.m. Is the grand opening of the Byron and Wombies New Britannian Market Bookstore. Show up for the virtual ribbon cutting. At 4 p.m., Gus Ball League Week 3 is going to be taking place. We know who's playing this week? Gus Ball. Uh, the uh, Titanic uh, Jiras, are they out there defending their crown? I, I, don't, I, know. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's not on the calendar. Uh, at 6 p.m., Serp, uh, Serpent's Watch. That race, race is going on. You need challenge. to go to the race challenge. Don't forget. It's a fun event, and if you win, you can have your name written in cheese. And this week's uh, Wake Up New Britannia interview with Who Are You is Crazy Phil. Crazy Phil. I think I've met Crazy Wake Phil. Up New Britannia. Oh, I've right. met Crazy Phil. He was at Dragon Con last year. We, we had a load of fun together. Was he crazy? What is he saying? Oh, I'm telling you, Crazy Phil fits the bill. That's for sure. <laughs> yep. Oh, and gu- the Gus Ooh. Ball. Uh, there's also going to be a Gus Ball match in Serpent's Watch after the race. That's, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah. It, the it, race it, is going to happen, and Gus Ball is going to follow immediately thereafter, I believe. Okay. Is what's yeah. Going like that now. Yeah, the race is at four. The Oh, so, yeah, someone got it. The time's wrong. The race is at four, and Gus Ball is after that. 
So Serpent's Watch is the place to go for this week. Thank you, Justin. Uh, don't forget, tune in your Ether amplifiers to WRFB. WRFB. Or the Swap Shop and Zeke the Freak talking about something. Talking about swapping things. You got things to sell? Spit. You want to go check out the Swap Shop? Trap? That's right. Want to swap some spit? I'm sure he can arrange it for you as well. If that's not your thing, you can always tune into the Sleepiest and Lord Baldrith on Avatar's Radio with Echoes from the Cavern. Which takes us to Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. At the Fairport Coliseum. And one of these days we'll actually get that line done without Laz on it. Why? Because it kills me every time I hear that you do it <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's like, damn. Ruined a perfectly good bit. Okay, so Sunday, 8.30 a.m. Don't forget PAX Layer meeting, early morning edition, and the PAX at Veritas TeamSpeak server, no password necessary. At 9 a.m., Avatar's Radio, Striker Sparhawks doing his show, Lost in the Spaces. At? What? What am I looking at? Yeah. Calendar? Did you turn off? Or did you turn on? There is no <laughs> Ether Ample Ether Vision Alliance. Okay, yeah. I'm not seeing the same thing you're seeing. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't check the Ether Vision Alliance. I forgot yeah, to check yeah. the Ether Vision Alliance. <laughs> hey, I'm hey, going to kill, kill, kill me. Kill me, small cell. Hey, hey, nine. Twelve thirty. Don't forget, jo- join Bo and Bloodgood in the New Britannian Market for Astronomy Night taking place at the museum. Uh, lots of changes in the celestial system, so you do need to pay attention to that, as well as as it pertains to sieges. At noon, the Bear Tavern Pub Crawl is taking place. It's all great events started a pub somewhere and what better way to start your adventures than getting drunk that's right yeah that is yep. absolutely thanks correct. thanks for reminding me of that justin at two <laughs> o'clock or three o'clock the you need to go to the town of west end and join the west end fight club the for west some pvp end fight club with a proper penis at 7 p.m., Pax Layer normal meeting taking place in the Pax at Veritas TeamSpeak server. Everybody's free to join that one and learn about what's going on in the Pax Layer group of communities. At 8 p.m., final event of the weekend is Fishing with Winfield, where the only requirement fish. is fish. And that's our community calendar for this Saturday, April 7th through the 9th in. Crowd of the Avatar. The Avatar. That's right. Yeah, and just don't be avatarded. And welcome, you folks. That, welcome the new visitors. Yes, welcome to all the new folks out there. We'll be seeing you as we make our travels around through the weekend. NBNN is a proud sponsor of SodaCon Austin 2017. Go to SodaCon Austin. Dot org for the latest information. If you need more, contact me. I'll put you on to the right track and get you in touch with the right folks out there. And of course, uh, really quick today, we got to go ahead and thank our sponsors out there. Good folks who uh, help keep us on the radio here. And uh, of course, the good folks over at WRFB Radio Free Britannia is you can catch us throughout the week on the radio. You can check out the Deco Divas every Wednesday and Thursday. You can check up Wake Up New Britannia tomorrow morning. And, of course, Saturday night, Seek the Freak with the Swap Shop on WRFB Radio Free Britannia. GrimyTraders.com. If you want to start your own auction, whether it be cash or gold, go out to Grimy Traders Auction House at GrimyTraders.com. And set your own up. It's free to sign up. It's free to list. It's free to buy. It's free to sell. It's free. 
of course, our sponsors, the official sponsors of NBNN, the official sponsors, the Ockenshire Martin Farms, for your wholesale cotton, reagents, vegetables, ale, and more, located at Dawn's Keep, just south of Central Britain, and of course, on the marketplace for your convenience. The Britannia Mining Company wants you to come on down the market road and check out all the merchants for all your crafting needs. Located in the Quell region next to the Essendon Mines for your mining convenience as well. Soda Map. Soda Map is truth, so says Lord British, and so much so they put it in the game. Sodamap.com will get you around, and of course, uh, the search feature on the website will show you most anything you need to find. Check out sodamap.com for your travel needs. Then over at Relics by Rills, relicsbyrills.com for all your licensed Shrouded Avatar swag. Use the promo code NBNN when you check out, and you will save 10% when you check out at relicsbyrills.com. And of course, last but not least, the Shroud Marketplace, shroudmarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. And man, we are pushing over time oh, yeah. today. Yeah, yeah, so we will talk about the Shroud Marketplace later in the week but, or uh, next week. But I thank you to Shroud Marketplace for being a sponsor. In what cheesy want? writing on oh, the lot. We got to show everybody well, the new I'm just hoping we don't writing. get disconnected right before we do this. But we do have yes. to, don't forget that the services that are available, including cheese sign writing, you can be just like us. Go to Wolfdom Shop on Shroud Marketplace. You can get, I love this shit. Yes. Yes. Written in runic, nonetheless. In runic. In runic. <laughs> you got to love in this this cheese sign writing done by Wolfdom Shop. And extra special thanks to... Notchers or Nature Z. However, I can butcher his name this time. Notchers. That's right. Uh, thank you oh, guys ready. for doing everything. And thank you guys for watching out there on Twitch, YouTube, and or hanging out on WRFB with us. We couldn't do the show without w you guys. R and R we do it for you guys. So thank you. That's right. Thank you guys. We're going to get out of here before they pull the plug on this thing for the maintenance. We'll be back on Monday. We'll be out there for the free play weekend. And of course, everybody have a great weekend. We'll be back with more on Monday. I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. We'll see you all then, folks. Have a great day. G sign writing. Cheesy writing. <laughs>